Welcome to Tableau, my new tabletop storytelling game system that I've just launched on Kickstarter. With this Kickstarter, we are launching two different playsets for Tableau. Twilight Road for telling life-changing road stories and Gatewatch for stories about living on borders and edges. In this video, I wanted to share with you an overview of the Twilight Road playset using the Tableau system. Twilight Road consists of 72 poker-sized cards contained in this small tuck box. It is a standalone game. Everything you need to tell a story is included in the box, except for index cards, paper, pencils, or pens, and an optional dice. Twilight Road is designed for two to five players, plays in about two or three hours, and is intended for players 14 and older. Here is an example of what Tableau calls the table. The first card of a playset tells us which cards are needed to be on the table in order for us to tell its stories. The first cards that are placed on the table are the Tableau core rules of which are these three cards. They are the heart of every Tableau game. So let's take a closer look. Our goal in Tableau is to create a satisfying cinematic story in just a few hours without needing advanced preparation or a designated game master. These rules are composable, i.e. we can mix and match different kinds of rules together. This flexibility allows us to create a story in a wide variety of genres, play styles, and character choices. In addition, Tableau offers play sets that package together specific rules for a specific type of story. Our table is the shared space to tell these stories. Table consent is when we agree on choices. We don't add anything to the table without table consent. But always remember the people at the table are more important than any rule. There are several types of Tableau cards. Rules for creating the story together, such as safety, narrative, player roles, how we cast characters, and how drama works. In addition, story cards establish themes, mood, settings, factions, and different approaches to control genre tropes and pacing, which we call beats. Finally, we have many forms of character traits, such as mastery and approaches, paths, and faces. Tableau also uses index cards, which the storytellers put on the table with table consent. One particular kind of index card is a truth, which is where we agree on the facts in our story. Questions are statements that are open for exploration and discovery. Many of the Tableau cards say they can be taken up. Doing so gives you control over its story elements and you may use its moves. The moves listed are not limited to what is on the card. Anything that makes sense and has table consent is okay. When we are done with the cards, we can set them aside to make them available to others. During a Tableau storytelling session, we can put any cards we like on the table. Still, as there are so many choices, an excellent place to start is with a play set. Once the cards are on the table, we follow any setup instructions on the rules cards and discuss their ask together choices. Then we do so for the story cards. We will then choose from our cast of characters, which will likely have their own setup and ask together questions. Finally, we use the beat cards to help us to get to the end of a satisfying story in a reasonable amount of time. Play can begin after we review any truths and open questions on the table. In telling our story, it is told through a sequence of discrete scenes. Before each scene, we will discuss our insights and feelings about the last scene and make suggestions. We will choose which characters we wish to be involved. 
In general, during a scene, we focus on a single question. We also think cinematically, show, don't tell. If we are holding any story cards, we are active owners of those cards. If we've neglected one for too long, we will set it aside. We will be fans of each other's characters. We will create interesting dilemmas for each other. And we will end the scene when the moment feels right or when role-playing is stalling by declaring scene or cut. To a certain extent, that is the entire game. And you could play from here with just those rules and the inspiration from the name of this playset and the selected image. But we will return to our Twilight Road playset cards. Among other things, it asks us to share our inspirations about road trips from books, movies, television, or other media. One storyteller might share how they loved the Blues Brothers, and another might share the more recent TV show, Poker Face. The Twilight Road playset also includes inspirational images that may help stretch your imagination. However, you can choose any image you like or even sketch one on an index card to put on the table. In this case, the storytellers chose to focus on one image for their story, the hitchhiker with the backpack, and added it to the table. The Twilight Road playset also recommends these rules. The first is a rules card offering more details on truth and questions. The scenes card is a narrative rule that explains how we use these to tell our story. Next, we have some rules for casting characters and how we create index cards for them. Last are the rules for how we use character traits, which are optional. For instance, the Gatewatch playset does not use character traits at all. Next, the playset asks us to make some choices to pick a safety rule and a drama rule. The traffic lights card is a reasonably easy safety rule. On the back of this card, it has red, yellow, and green lights. You can point to any of these if there is challenging content or if you like the direction the story is moving. This safety card also matches the theme of this playset. Another card is lines and veils, which is a more involved safety rule very useful for more intimate stories. We also must choose a drama card. The push rule uses dice for tension, but the drama tokens rule uses small coins or stones for karma. In this case, the storytellers are planning a relatively light story and don't want to use the dice, so they selected drama tokens and traffic lights. Here are some more cards that the Twilight Road Playset recommends. Cinematic is a common mood and tone for many tableau playsets. Of course, many road trip stories offer lightness and laughter. Given this particular playset, we need a Twilight theme card and a road settings card. Next, some formulas for how we do pacing of the story using genre beats. Finally, we have some player roles, some road trip tropes for character faces, and some other interesting and relevant character traits. Let's take a little closer look at those Twilight Road beat cards. The first card gives us some options. We can choose to use the simple beat structure described on the back of this first card, or we can use the other three cards for a Twilight Road genre beats in a form like a three-act movie. Or we could use guidance of some other cards in this playset, like Quest, Mystery, Rite of Passage, or The Price of Freedom. The storytellers decided to use the Twilight Road three-acts genre beats version, starting with Opening, which connects the travelers, then Rising Action, where the journey gets complicated, and ending with climax and finale, where choices and consequences are revealed. This may seem like a lot of cards on the table, but each storyteller will typically pick up to four at a time to control that aspect of the story, so there will be fewer cards on the table very soon. 
For instance, the Twilight Road playset rules recommend that someone portray the driver face, as, after all, this is a road trip story. This storyteller also chose the optional fast character trait card, but could have made a different choice, like Brash. Finally, the playset recommends that the driver be the first director. This storyteller also takes up the initial Beats card, opening, connect the travelers. The fronts of all these cards has all the set up and ask together questions about this character that are needed before the beginning of the story. But on their backs include all the moves for this first storyteller. As there are only four cards, two for the character, a fast driver, and one for the player role of the director, and one for the goal of the first beat, this set of four cards is not overwhelming. So now there are fewer cards on the table. The second storyteller chose from the remaining cards to portray the genre face of the buddy because they had shared earlier that they were inspired by Jim Belushi's character in the Blues Brothers. The storyteller also picked up the rascal fool path character trait where the character struggles to find a balance between fun and mischief versus hurting people. This player also found the more edgy aspects of the Twilight theme to be intriguing, and also desired to take up the cinematic mood and tone for a more movie-like style, given their love of the Blues Brothers. Like the other cards, inspirational choices for the moves for the quite rascally buddy, the Twilight and cinematic are on the backs of those cards. Now there are even fewer cards on the table. The last storyteller takes up the runaway. They could have chosen the outsider or no genre face at all and choose a character trait as their primary character card, but they decided to pick the runaway. Given where the other storytellers seem to be going, this storyteller decides they want this runaway to be charming. No one has yet taken up the road. This storyteller thinks that the runaway must have been on the road longer than the other characters, so takes control of that card and suggests that maybe taking the mapper player role will be easier for them. As before, the moves for this charming runaway, the road and the mapper, are on the backs of these four cards. These last cards remain on the table for future scenes and beats. As the scenes change, the director will be passed around from storyteller to storyteller, giving the previous director the option of taking up a different card. Maybe the Blues Brother inspiration kicks in, and someone sets aside another story element to focus on lightness and laughter. Clearly, in a future scene, you'll have to leave the road sometime and encounter some locals. Maybe an interesting outsider is located there who is quite handy and might join you as a minor character as the journey continues. And of course, at some point, the first beat will complete and the remaining two beats will need to be taken up for rising tension or the storytellers are ready to take up the climax and the finale beat. And the story is now told. So I hope this video gives you a good introduction and overview about how Tableau works as a cinematic storytelling system. In particular, how Twilight Road, one of the more complex playsets, facilitates you and your friends to tell stories. Gatewatch, also included in this Kickstarter, tells different kinds of stories. Those cards can be mixed and matched with Twilight Road for even more variety of tales. I hope that you are intrigued and will go to Kickstarter now to pledge your support for this innovative tabletop role-playing game system. Don't forget to tell your friends. Thank you.